Kelly Monroe. I am the Chief Operating Officer here at Genesis Fund Services Limited, and we are in beautiful Nassau, the Bahamas. I joined the firm of Delight and Touche um, a little bit back in the day, and uh, I went there after finishing my university studies at Acadia. And through time, being at Deloitte & Touche, I was offered an opportunity for a secondment at the Securities Commission of the Bahamas. And with that, I worked in the inspections department. And it started to open my eyes to the possibility of what you could do in the financial services area, and in particular in fund services in the Bahamas. And so another opportunity came up out not too long after and uh, I was offered a position here at Genesis Fund Services Limited. And so I took the leap and um, I've been here now going on 17 years. We've seen changes in terms of who the players are, are in fund administration in the Bahamas. Um, we've even seen the growth of new local companies uh, in fund administration in the Bahamas, which is a, a great thing. Um, I think the other thing that's been significant is the, on, I don't want to say the onslaught, but certainly the rollout of many, many uh, legislative changes with respect to compliance, um, proceeds of crime, you know, the gamut, FDRA, etc. Um, that has been a big change because it's really, really um, made us all very accountable. And not that we weren't before, but certainly from a legislative perspective, it, it's really, really ramped up. Um, and so compliance is a huge um, part of business, doing business in fund administration in the Bahamas now. And so AML is a big, uh, big change, has seen, a big ch has seen big changes. I would also say that technology has seen big changes. Whereas when I started in this industry, we were still on spreadsheets and QuickBooks, other um, applications like that. But now the uh, big shops such as Genesis Fund Services are utilizing see-through technology and um, our, our service providers, Paxis, BFS Paxis. Um, and so it's all integrated, you know, no longer are you transposing information from one system of accounting to another system to be able to provide statements to investors. It's all, again, seamless and see-through. And, and that is actually a, a wonderful change, um, in, in particular with respect to the efficiency of us doing our business. Um, and the other part that I would say has changed is that we have continued to develop our people, um, just pouring training hours and knowledge. Um, exposure to different products, different markets. Um, we're, we, I, I've seen that people have definitely been enhanced in terms of what they bring to the table, again, through training and through knowledge and exposure. It remains as it was before, um, reliability, efficiency, they want accuracy in, in the work that we do, they want to know that they can rely on us and that their clients can rely on us to deliver reports, statements, um, NAV calculations in a timely manner again, uh, because this is the base on which they can do their work. They can uh, maintain the confidence of their clients because their clients are satisfied with the information that they're receiving. Um, and then they can also be able to make better investment decisions because of the work that we have to do in terms of sweeping transactions, etc. Um, so if we're doing our job properly, then they can focus on what they need to make the investments grow and, and work for them and their, and their clients. As fund administrators, our job really is to be independent of the fund uh, investment manager and, 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 and other parties to the fund. We bring, again, the independence so that the investors can feel comfortable that what we're providing to them 
is not biased in any way. It's not been strong-armed in any way. Um, and, and they can rely on, on that information to make their decisions as well. Um, coming to a fund administrator, they should expect um, the AML, <laughs> that they're going to have to comply with certain uh, protocols of you know your customer. Um, there may be some FATCA uh, requirements. There may be CRS requirements. So that regulation is very much alive <laughs> and well in fund administration. Um, but also, they should expect that, at least when they come to Genesis Fund Services, they should expect that they'll receive high quality service, again, timely information, timely response to queries they may have, um, that, that they should expect um, access to technology. So again, through our, through our system, they'll be able to log in and be able to see where their portfolios are, see where their trades may be, any requests they may have submitted. So, Again, they should expect a high level of technology access. They should expect timeliness in, in responses. They should expect accuracy in the reporting that we give. Um, and even though there is AML compliance obligations that have to be met, we will certainly take our time to walk with them through the process so that it's as seamless as possible. Looking into the future, technology is going to be a driver. Um, again, it's it's the way of the world, right? Everybody wants everything at their fingertips. They they want to be able to access information so that they can make quick decisions. And so we continue to evaluate our systems. We continue to evaluate our partners and, and just make sure to make sure that we're at the cutting edge um, in terms of that service that we can uh, provide to our our clients and being the investment managers or the funds and also to their clients, to the, to the shareholders and participating um, subscribers. Uh, I would also say that we are continuously improving the, the worth and the value of our human resource, the, the way that they are able to contribute to the product that we are offering. Um, and, and just basically building a system where persons come in and to work know that they are a very meaningful part of us making it to the next level. And so training is a high priority for us. Um, exposure, just in terms of uh, new products, new uh, markets that we may be going into or looking at, we want our people to be involved in the process because they're smart people, they're very talented. And so we want, we want the best of their ideas as well as we try to pursue those different areas products and markets. Um, and of course, regulatory uh, knowledge and understanding where those may kind of fall in line and what kind of um, guardrails we may have to be working within, uh, because we certainly want to be compliant um, and we'll continue to be compliant. And so understanding what's required of us, uh, uh, making sure that we have systems in place, people in place, um, processes in place that will help us to be a robust compliant environment for ourselves, our uh, regulators here in the Bahamas, for our investment managers, and of course for the investors in those funds. I think traditionally, um, even coming out of the evolution of tourism in the Bahamas many, many years ago, um, I think the heart of the Bahamian people is one of service, um, wanting to make sure that persons we have to interact with have the best experience possible, um, and doing whatever we need to to make sure it's an excellent, um, again, experience for them. And so I think that persons who come to the Bahamas just like on the tourism or in the tourism industry, those who come for financial services should expect and will receive that high quality service. Um, the, one of the um, mottos here at Genesis is that we make it easier for our clients to focus on what's important to make their business grow. Um, and, and I think that is the essence of the Bahamas. We, we want to do our part so well that you don't even have to look back and worry about it. And so that's what we offer to the world. We offer you high quality service, consistent um, delivery of, of our reporting, our um, reliability in our reporting, the responses that we have to give to your clients. Whatever entails service, we're here to do it with excellence.